Hello. Like a lot of small-time DIYers or beginner woodworking people, I quickly discovered that I have a problem, and that is when I set one tool down or a pencil or tape measure, whatever it is, and then I'm moving around and fiddling with my project, and then I reach for that, and I don't remember where I set it. This happens more often in the shop, in my, which is my garage, uh, than it does when I'm doing a project in the house. When I'm doing a project in the house, I bring everything I need to that spot, and it's all within arm's reach. But in the garage, I sometimes have two or three tables set up in different pieces that I'm moving around. And I have to, after I saw something, I have to move things around so I can sand it because I only really have one work surface. And so I've seen a few different solutions to this problem of, and one, one is having a tool caddy, which is people who build themselves a little DIY box or, of sorts that can hold, I don't know, a hammer, maybe a drill, tape measure, pencils, that sort of thing. Or you could probably buy one. And every time I'm in a big box store, I see those fancy leather or uh, some other synthetic material tool belts or a tool harness of some kind where there's a hammer loop and pockets for screws and drills and these sort of things. Most of those are fairly expensive. Uh, the really small ones that are like $20, they only have like two pockets or three at most. They also seem really heavy and uncomfortable to wear and they look like they would get in the way. And the pockets for the screws don't have flaps on top, so if you bent over, the, everything would spill out. So anyway, I was kind of just looking for a solution when I came across the YouTube video by a small-time YouTuber, wink wink, uh, Jonathan Katz Moses, who was wearing an apron, a shop apron. And I hadn't even heard of that. It has pockets everywhere. He had a pocket for his combination square and his pencil and his punch and his tape measures and all these things. And that seemed like it would be a perfect solution for what I was looking for. And then after watching another video, I realized, or maybe heard him mention that he actually made one and was selling it. And so I became very interested and I started researching just a little bit, like different shop aprons, what their prices were, what they were made out of. And I found a few reviews of his particular shop apron, which people seem to really like. And of course, he's wearing his in every video. Here's a picture of him wearing his apron in his... uh in this picture here, which is the exact apron that he wears in his videos. And he's a decent woodworker. And I noticed that whenever he's about to make a mark, he pulls out his marking knife or his center punch. It's right there in the apron, all those pockets. You don't even have to look And that. I realized that would be perfect. So I ordered one and I'm going to show you now the unboxing video um, and my quick review of it. But first I want to show you that before that happened, something really cool happened. As we always do when we order something online, we get a confirmation email. And this is the email confirmation that I got from the Jonathan Katz Moses store when I ordered the woodworking tool apron and the adjustable automatic center punch. And I just liked the personal touch in this email, even if it is copy and paste. It says, we currently have our crack team of packaging specialists meeting to discuss your awesomeness. That's a little tacky, but you get what I'm saying. We'll email you a tracking number when they've come up with an appropriate way to honor your greatness. With years of postgraduate work in the art of cardboard, tape, and eco-friendly packaging material, they, tend, they intend to forge a creation so spectacular the residents of Mount Olympus would be envious of its splendor. Okay, now I know that every company has these automatic emails that go out, and there's a choice on how to word those. And this... I assume a fairly small company relative to things like Amazon or Walmart or Home Depot shipping uh, distribution centers, this small company made a choice to word their automatic email that goes out in a way that is uh, that catches your attention and that there's a personal touch to it. And even though I know that it is copy and paste and probably everyone gets the exact same email, that it's still, it was a choice that they made to add that personal touch. And that meant a lot to me. And then there was a next email. Now, this one was worded just a little bit differently, but still, I liked the fact that it said, your egg is in the nest. That was, you know, it's kind of a code word from the spy movies or something like that. But still, again, it was a personal touch that I appreciated. It said, your order has been delivered. Get in the shop and make some sawdust. I'm so excited to see what you will create. Tag us with your new tool on Instagram to enter our monthly giveaway and so on. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not going to enter a monthly giveaway. But the, it was, again, the fact that they added this personal touch into their copy and paste email, which, again, every company has a choice to do something like that. But most of them just say, a package has been delivered. Please let us know if something went wrong. And it's just 
boring and simple, but they made an effort to make it interesting and exciting. All right, let me get to the unboxing video and my short review of this shop apron and the automatic center punch, which is in the same video. Well, my package has arrived. I'm going to see what's in here. Actually, I know what's in here, but it's interesting to see if it is what I thought it would be. Mostly packing materials. Set the knife down over at the side in case I need it again. Toss the packing materials to the side. That is the packing slip. And there's a nice sticker that says Cats Moses Tools for woodworkers by woodworkers. Or did I read that backwards? First thing I hear is this 5-inch automatic center punch. I had recently purchased an automatic center punch from a big box store, but I wasn't entirely happy with it, so when I saw this one from Cats Moses, I decided to get it. The big red bulb is one of the defining features of it. Um, the point in everything else seems very similar to the one that I have. I'm going to go find a board off to the side to test this on. But it, it does feel very, look very similar, except for the big red bulb to the one that I bought at the big box store for about the same price. Let me stumble back over here, move this box out of the way. And this is a piece of scrap board that I tried to drill an angled hole through some time ago. All right, I'm going to push down on this. It popped very easily. It adjusts for lighter or softer materials and adjusts even more and pops very easily. It, it seems much easier to use than the, that's the one from the big box store. As you can see, the designs are very similar except for the color and the big red bulb. That one doesn't have the big red bulb on it, so you have to have a thumb or something on the end to push down on. And it seems fairly stiff no matter how much you loosen it. But being able, being able to put my palm on this big red bulb right there makes a huge difference. And you see the holes that I have imprinted in this board varying sizes. I'm probably just going to keep this on the tightest setting. Yeah, it has the same spring inside as the other one. Yeah, the palm is the huge difference here. And also, it's easier to grab because of that big red bulb. I pushed too hard on that one. Here I'm just trying to decide if it makes a difference to have it set for heavier or lighter wood. But I do like it. Just like the other one, it can stick on my magnetic bar that you can't quite see under the edge of the table here. But that's because I don't yet have my apron. What else is in this box? More packing paper. Let's toss that aside. Here I have the shop apron. Or woodworking apron, it should say. With a picture of Jonathan Katz Moses on it. I think that's his name. Well, Katz Moses, I'm sure, because it's right there on the label, but his first name is Jonathan, right? I've watched some of his videos. They seem pretty decent. Lots of good camera work, lots of good advice. Right. Move some more packing material here. And we'll take a look at this poster board that came in the package. It says, one size fits all which is pretty close to the truth. It's made of 20 ounce, 20 ounce waxed canvas, industrial grade stitching. There's a leather square holder, a leather pencil or marking knife holder, two hammer loops and pockets for all your tools. As you can see, I got the right-handed version because I am right-handed. As it turns out, uh, it didn't make a lot of difference, but you'll see here in a minute. Some silica gel. There it is with the logo on the front. I don't necessarily enjoy wearing products that have logos on them. It seems like a way for me to advertise freely for some other company, but that's the way most things come these days. It does feel very solid, very stiff. The pockets do not feel like they're going to break anytime soon. Uh, that's the leather marking knife holder. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go move my camera and give this a test. All right, as you can see, that's me. I'm about six foot two and about 170 pounds. 
just checking all the attachment points here. And now I have to figure out how to get my head in through there. Okay, you put your arms inside that back loop and then lift it over your head, settle it back down. At this point, I hadn't yet figured out how to put the pads in place correctly on the top and front of my shoulders, but I did figure out how to clasp the easy locking clasp in the back. Checking the size of the pockets, as you can see, the side pocket there is easily large enough to put my hand in. It feels very, it fits fine. There's just enough room for me to stick my hands inside. All right, and now I'm going to show you the first few tools that I've put in it. There is my combination square in the holster that was made specifically for it. It's going to take me a little practice to get used to putting that in there without looking. And there is the center punch. As you see, I was able to grab it without looking. There is the pencil, my carpenter's pencil. I have a tape measure in this big pocket here. And my marking knife. My marking knife. My marking knife. All right, there it is, which I have not yet used, but I need to not push it in quite as far. I'm going to tap it in gently and hopefully be able to pull it out more easily next time. I'm actually not really yet comfortable with having it there in case I need to bend over. That's a pretty sharp knife, but it seems great so far. There's a hammer loop on each side. Uh, I will going to give it a good test over the next few days. Hopefully that unboxing video and quick review was interesting to you in some way or informative, but I will say this, when I made that video I had never used the apron, I had just put it on, and you probably saw that I didn't have the shoulder pads in the right place and I hadn't yet had a chance to adjust it, and I didn't also know what was going to be in all the pockets yet. But since I made that video just a few days ago, I've actually worn and used the apron three, four, maybe five times. Uh, I've had lots of opportunities over the last few days to get out in the garage, set up all my things, and actually do some woodworking. And I will say this, that apron has been invaluable. I've never once had to wonder where my tape measure was because it was right there in that pocket. Within two or three times of using the center punch, I got to where I could just grab it without looking. It's right there. It's right there in that pocket. I can, And that uh, big red bulb makes it easy to, to touch with your fingers and know exactly where it is without looking. So you can continue looking at the board and just pull that out in place it and I've had to look to put it back in the pocket but I'm not quite used to that yet having the uh, combination square in that little holster has been really handy I've already used it 10 or 20 times in just three or four or five times in the shop so far just pull it out yes I do have to look to put it back in because sometimes it folds over the little snap flap but I'm getting used to that having the pencil right there again and I'm starting to figure out which tools I use the most and which tools I don't the, I have a screwdriver now in one of the narrower side pockets down near the bottom. I will say this, uh, I, have the, I have the straps set at the smallest, the smallest adjustment because I'm a relatively slim person as you saw in the, recent video, in the previous part of this video where I was putting the apron on. Uh, for someone who's 6'2", I only weigh about 170 pounds. So I have the straps about as tight as they will go and I bought the, uh, the large version. Uh, there's two sizes of this apron and I bought the larger version. So if, uh, if you're any slenderer than that or any shorter than that, you probably do want the smaller version of it, but it fits just right for me. There's just a, just enough give in it so that when I bend over, it's not tight or uncomfortable and that I can still move and things like that. And of course, if I gain a little weight, I can loosen it up because it's on the smallest adjustment so far, but it is not that heavy at all. The shoulder straps are very comfortable once I pull the pads into the right place and it is very, very, very handy to have all those tools right where I can grab them. So anyway, hope you appreciated this unboxing video and brief review. And if you were thinking about trying to make a tool caddy or buying one of those overly expensive but only three pocket having tool belts at a big box store, maybe consider getting something like this instead. It costs about the same as, as many of those tool belts that I've seen. It costs less than most of the little portable little tool vinyl toolboxes that you see at the big box stores where you can put some tools and cans and stuff in there. And one of those still might be handy, but, but for all these things, this is just invaluable. And yes, it gets dirty. So mine's got sawdust over it all, all over it already and in the pockets, but I just take that off and put it on a hook at the side of the garage and it stays there. When I go back out there to work, I, I put it on and there it goes. Uh, hopefully I'll have more stuff coming soon.